This is a very simple spreadsheet basically that deals with the price per unit of what we produce, the units sold, total revenue, cost per unit, fixed cost, total cost and the profit. The profit is the total revenue minus the total cost. And then we created what they call five different data or data tables. They are very powerful in Excel. So what Basically, it's important that you start when you don't have those tables yet, that you put here whatever you want in those columns or in those rows. And make sure that it's important for a data table that you have on top formulas that are based on this information to the left. So in this case, I put a zero there and then I linked this to the profit that the unit price, the profit, the cost price, profits, and how many units sold. And here, make sure that your calculation, your formula, is in the origin of the table. And here I put the unit price, there the cost price. Same story here. And then we are going to create the data tables. But it's important in this case, why do we have zeros here? Because we put not just $125 in there, but a formula. $125 times 1 plus D2, because this one is for the unit price. And a similar story for the units sold. 100,000 times 1 plus J2, that's for the units sold. At this point it's zero, but when that goes up, then that price will go up. And the other secret is in the cost per unit, in this case, $25 times 1 plus G2. That's zero. Once you have done that, you are going to create a data or data table. All you have to do is select the top row that includes the equations in this case, and then you select that. I did all of that already on this sheet, so we select this section, and then it's going to put in this inner section the calculations. And that is done with a data table. If you, if you look in here, then you see that in this case that's based on table and then D2, which is that unit price. So if you go to this range and you don't have this data table yet, you go to data, what if analysis, data table, no row input cells, but D2, which is that zero. And it uses that to bring up everything according to that 125. And you will see here that we got the price per unit. If we go by this what we expect. If, if the unit price is 10% lower, then we will make $112 and we will only have a profit of 8 something, etc. We do the same here. In this case, we have G2 as the column input. So again, you select the top row and the left column and the rest is blank and you will do things right there. So in this case, as we said, G2 is the one. So let's do that one more time. G2 is the column input cell. You select this, data, data table, <coughs> and G2 is the column input cell. And you do that also for the third one. For the fourth one, the story is basically the same, but this time we have two inputs, the row and the column, G2 and D2. Select this, data, first D2 and G2. Remember, those values have to be incorporated in the end result. And finally, when they are I, uh, J2 and D2 are the input cells. It's clear why J2, because that is the unit sold, that is the row input, 
and the other one is the unit price. You see with, with simple tricks you can do all of this.